as we enter the dog days of summer, our canine <laughs> correspondents aren't slowing down. Lola and intern Louie have been busy gathering the top animal stories of the week for this week's edition of Lola's Lowdown. <laughs> This week on The Lowdown, it's a dog riding a bus. Don't you hate breaking in new shoes? And talk about a catwalk. But first, Lola travels to upstate New York, where a zoo presented rare twin red panda cubs. The two male cubs named Lufa and Dufa, after characters in the Land Before Time series, are both doing well. Zookeepers are bottle feeding the cubs after mom showed some difficulty caring for them. Fewer than 10 1,000 red pandas are believed to be living in forested areas of the Himalayas, making them an endangered species. The Miatles wore couture, and the crowd was captastic at the Algonquin Hotel's annual feline fashion show. Presided over by the historic Times Square establishment's 12th resident cat, a ginger boy with a theatrical name, Hamlet the Eighth. The theme for this year's show and lobby party with some Cuban attendees in cat ear headbands was the purring 20s. The four-legged models were held by their owners for a red carpet catwalk as cameras clicked away. The whole thing is a fundraiser for the Mayor's Alliance for New York City Animals, which helps support more than 150 animal shelters and rescues in the city. The long history of cats presiding at the Algonquin is a bit murky, but dates back to the early 20s, when a hungry stray named Billy wandered in and never left. A canine named Sonny tried out new protective dog boots for the first time in Connecticut to protect his paws from the hot pavement. Sonny's partner, Officer Jason Fry, decided to try out protective boots. This video is his first attempt to walk in them, but after about five minutes, Sonny was walking normally with his new footwear. Finally, a streetwise dog has won over millions of hearts online after a bus driver shared the moment he found the pup sitting on his bus in Santiago, Chile. Apparently, the dog hopped on the bus after a man and the bus driver thought they were together. Well, 40 minutes later, at the bus's final stop, it turns out the dog was still enjoying the ride. And this commuting pup doesn't appear to be in any hurry to hit the streets. Who can blame him? And that's this week's edition of Lola's Lowdown. <laughs> Dogs do not like those boots, but they might, might want them on this weekend. It's a little hot out there. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here Monday. News 3 at